Have you ever wondered which countries in the world have had the smallest heads of state? From modestly sized monarchs to diminutive dictators, these rulers prove that size doesn't always matter. In this video we will go on a journey around the globe and explore all 10 of the tiniest heads of state throughout history. Discover who they were and why their physical stature didn't stop them from leading nations and creating lasting legacies. So buckle up and join us as we check out who holds some of the records for tiniest ruler in human history. Hey everyone, welcome back to About History, where you'll find everything you need to know about some of the most interesting and astonishing facts about historical events. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell when we post more amazing videos like this in the future, and here we go. Number 10, Frank Ford. Frank Ford was a short but influential political figure in Australian history, serving as the country's 15th Prime Minister for only eight days in 1945. Despite his very brief time in office, he made some lasting contributions to the nation, such as creating the Department of Immigration and leading a housing construction project. His legacy lives on, at just 5 feet 4 inches, he was one of Australia's shortest serving leaders and his commitment to progressive change still resonates today. Number 9, King Dipendra Beer Bikram Shah Dev King Dipendra Beer Bikram Shah Dev is remembered as the last king of Nepal, reigning from 2001 to 2002. Though barely 5 feet tall, he was an accomplished sportsman and motor racing enthusiast. Tragically, his reign was marred by a violent episode in which he killed several members of his own family, including his father, King Virendra, in a drunken rage before taking his own life. Despite this heartbreaking incident, King Dipendra's life will remain indelibly marked in history books, providing an example not just of royal power but also human fragility and failings. Number 8, Carlos Luz. Carlos Luz was an influential Brazilian politician, who served as president of the country from 1955 until a military coup ended his tenure. At 5 feet 2 inches, he was one of Brazil's shortest serving leaders and his presidency was sadly cut short by this coup, which saw the nation ruled by a series of authoritarian dictators for the next 21 years. Despite this dark period in Brazilian history, Luz will remain remembered as a courageous leader who sought to bring political reform and justice to his people. Number 7, Pedro Carmona. Pedro Carmona was a Venezuelan businessman and politician who assumed the presidency of Venezuela in 2002, following a failed military coup against President Hugo Chavez. At just 5 feet 3 inches, he was one of the world's shortest presidents and his reign lasted only 36 hours before Chavez reclaiming power. Although his brief presidency was short-lived, it nevertheless serves to remind us of the fragility of power, as well as the adaptability and strength of Venezuelans during times of great political unrest. Number 6, Joseph Goebbels. Joseph Goebbels was a key member of the Nazi party and Adolf Hitler's propaganda minister. Despite his small stature of 5 feet 5 inches, Goebbels was a powerful figure who helped the Nazi party to rise to power in Germany in the 1930s through his propaganda skills. He was renowned for powerful speeches capable of rallying masses and continually spreading the Nazi ideology throughout Germany. His contribution to the Nazis is undoubtable, despite his physical size, and the legacy he left will remain an important reminder of one of history's darkest chapters. Number 5, Pedro Lascurain. Pedro Lascurain was the shortest serving president in Mexican history, ruling for a mere day in 1913. Standing at only 5 feet 1 inch tall, he was one of the world's shortest presidents. His brief presidency was brought to an end after a coup that ousted President Francisco Madero and replaced him with Victoriano Herta. Lascurain's legacy serves as a reminder of how quickly political regimes can change and also of the impact that even the smallest figures can have on history. Number 4, Hezekiah Ochuka. Hezekiah Ochuka was a Kenyan army sergeant who attempted to overthrow President Daniel Arap Moi in 1982. Despite being just 5 feet 3 inches tall, Ochuka managed to successfully lead a group of soldiers in an attempted coup to take over the country. Unfortunately, the coup was unsuccessful and he met his demise by execution. Although his mission ultimately failed, Ochuka's daring attempt still serves as an example of courage and rebellion against oppressive regimes. Number 3. Saka Stevens Saka Stevens was the president of Sierra Leone from 1967 to 1985. 
at only 5 feet 4 inches, he was one of the country's shortest leaders. Despite his short stature, Stevens was an astute politician who managed to lead Sierra Leone through a number of difficult times, including a civil war in the 1970s. His success in navigating such crises saw him stay in power for 18 years and cement his place as one of the nation's most important figures. Number 2, King Luis Felipe. King Luis Felipe was the last king of Portugal, who reigned from 1889 to 1910. Despite his small stature of just 5 feet 4 inches, he was one of the most popular and respected monarchs in Portuguese history. His progressive approach to politics and efforts to modernize the country earned him a great deal of respect, leading him to be remembered as one of Portugal's most important rulers. Number 1, King Louis XIX. King Louis XIX was the shortest reigning monarch in French history. At a mere 5 feet 2 inches, he was also one of the shortest kings in history. Sadly, his brief reign of just 20 minutes came to an end due to his own ill health. He died of tuberculosis soon after ascending to the throne, ensuring that his legacy as a ruler would remain brief but memorable. King Louis XIX was the shortest reigning monarch in French history, standing at a mere 5 feet 2 inches tall. He was also one. We have explored the top 10 smallest rulers in the world and learned about their varied reigns and contributions. From ancient Chinese warlords to the French monarch, each ruler has left a mark on global history that is still felt today. It's clear that despite physical stature, these sovereigns have achieved remarkable feats against all odds. As with any leaders, some were considered successful while others failed, nevertheless, each of them carved their own unique legacy. It's fascinating to explore the small yet powerful stories of these historical figures which remind us that size truly doesn't matter.